Here's a little tip for everybody who needs to learn to be a little bit more mentally tough. Mental toughness, I don't really like that word because it can almost just mean anything, right? But um, I think generally just to be tougher as an athlete is, um, you know, something you're probably interested in if you're watching this. This is what I've learned uh, through times of being a weakling and times of being pretty tough and sometimes of indecision and... Uh, the most important thing I would say is this. First of all, make a decision. You got to say, you know what? This is going to change. I'm not going to act this way anymore. I tell the story about when I was a big weight cutter. Uh, I have an identical twin brother. I had to go down. I cut massive weight, right? I would cut down to 114.5 in the summers. And, uh, you know, I weigh 153 right now. Not really fat. I, I got up to about, you know... 138 back then and uh you know i watched my diet year round when i was done wrestling in 94 after i was uh, done at oklahoma state um i'm not exaggerating i bet i had fast food three times in five years i was completely disciplined so i mean i was a big guy cutting all that weight and i saw the iowa hawkeyes a couple of those guys what they did was you know after they made weight i would sprint and get something to drink because i was suffering well, guess what? Some of those guys were suffering too. And they didn't bring anything to drink. They sat there, waited for their, their buddies to weigh in, whoever they were riding with. And you know, one of them went and took a shower, took a sweet time. And I was like, these guys are not showing weakness. Never again. For the next three years that I cut weight, did I ever rehydrate in front of anybody. Besides my teammates, maybe, you know, if we had our own little locker room area, I would weigh in, you know, University of Minnesota, wherever, weigh in, grab my stuff and my gear, get dressed and go into my locker with my teammate. But I didn't sprint for the water jug. I didn't have 13 different drinks lined up. I, I, I just didn't. I was like, God, these, this guy, these, these few guys here are very tough. One of them was the Steiner boys. You know the Steiner boys. One's the women's coach for Team USA. Awesome dudes. And I was like, I can do better. So make a decision that, you know what? You're not, I'm just not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to show this weakness. So make a decision. You just got to knock it off. Number two, I think I learned this too. Understand that, you know, there's going to be some suffering involved. Tom Ryan has a great book called Chosen Suffering. You should read it. He's the Ohio State coach. He says... Chosen suffering. You're choosing this. You choose to be a wrestler. There's going to be some pain involved. If you're in cross country, there's pain involved in being a cross country athlete too. Uh, there's probably not a whole lot of pain involved in some sports. Baseball, probably not very difficult sport to do. But some sports, you signed up for this, right? You say, I'm going to go down to, to 197 this year and I'm a big guy. Okay. You signed up for that. There's going to be some pain involved, right? Cutting weight for Super 32. My nephew is right now. I'm like, hey, it's going to be difficult, all right? I'm going to go get him here in a minute and, and help him through this whole process. There's going to be pain involved. Are you okay with that? Okay, just expect it. Don't fight it. Expect it. And once you learn that I'm choosing the suffering, I know there's going to be some suffering involved. And when it arrives, I'm not going to have an emotional reaction. I think it's Bruce Lee that says, don't have an emotional reaction every time something bad happens or there's a little bit of pain. And that's very difficult to do, especially if you're just like an emotional guy like me, right? But I'm 53 almost. So as a younger guy, it was a little bit more difficult. So if you're someone who's kind of a, an emotional guy, and, and I mean, you're kind of easily tripped into maybe anger and a rage even, um, or maybe you're, you maybe you just go right into, oh, poor me, uh, where's mommy's lap, right? No, 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 all right? That, that's an emotional reaction too. It's not an anger reaction, but it's kind of a sissy reaction. If you're emotionally turned into a sissy, that's an emotional reaction. Do not have an emotional reaction whenever there's some suffering involved. Expect it because and understand that you're choosing this and understand that when it does happen, once I once it's the final countdown to the to the time I step on the scale, um, it's going to get physically uh, grueling and difficult. Okay, here we go, right? And when, once you start to feel that pain and that discomfort, understand that, hey, this was expected. 
I'm not going to have an emotional reaction to this. So understand that you want to be tough. Making a decision that you're going to knock off some of these other behaviors that you've been engaging in. And secondly, uh, you know, expect some pain. You're, you chose this and, and when it arrives, okay, this is what I was expecting. Okay. It's like, you know, I went hunting in, in Canada years ago and you're, you're walking in 18 inches of snow. We get up at four in the morning and uh, no, 345 in the morning by 415, we're hiking for two and a half hours up a mountain in the snow. Okay. And it was very difficult. And I did that like five days in a row and it's a two and a half hour straight up the hill hike. Um, <clears throat> And I was expecting it. It was very difficult. And you get up to the top, you strip, you strip down naked. You find a place and you strip down because your clothes are drenched and it's sleeting on you and you get redressed. And um, then you're up there for the day and it's very cold. Uh, but the hike was, was unbelievably tough. And so when you're hiking up this thing, you're like, hey, this is what I expected. You know? And our guide prepared us for it. They go, you better come in shape. A lot of people, they, they don't even make it up there one time and they quit and they turn around and then we have to hunt, you know, um, just glassing out of our cars. But if you want to do the adventure hunt, uh, the man hunt, and you want to chase the giants up on top of the mountain above where any trees can grow and the ice and snow and sleet where the savage mule deer are, guess what? You better become here prepared because not a lot of people can do this. And uh, we're going to hike that son of a bitch four days in a row, five days in a row. And it was very difficult, but, you know, being prepared. And, uh, you know, so you need to do that, too, when it comes down to wrestling time or hard workouts or, you know, okay, I got to miss, I got to miss a homecoming. I can't go to homecoming uh, because I've got to make way. I've got a training camp. We had training camp this weekend for Super 32s. A lot of our kids miss their homecoming. They're like, I don't care. I need this training camp. You know, I got to go, I'm going to go try to beat a world champ. You know, I want to try to beat a Fargo champ. I want to beat a three-time state champ from uh, New Jersey. I want to be big time. And to be big time, you got to beat someone who's, uh, who's already big time in high school. And then you can replace them. And then all the college coaches know who you are. So, you know, they're like, they didn't feel sorry for themselves. Hey, screw homecoming. They're, they're, this is my opportunity to make something out of myself. Okay. So, you know, uh, the, the suffering can come in all walks of life. And I think that once you kind of get down to um, the nitty gritty of it, you start to enjoy that, hey, I chose a sport that very few people can do. I chose a hunt that very few people can do. I, I chose a life that very few people can have. I chose a career that very few people can do. You know, then you start to get excited about it because then you separate yourself and you're just different than everybody else. So that's some mental toughness tips. Good luck. Sorry for pacing around. When I'm talking, I can't hold still.